Hey, I think I'm live. How's it going, everybody? What's happening? Yeah, I hope it's starting. Should be starting now. Should be good. Playback error. Mm. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying to... Technical difficulties right at the start here. It's all good though. Let's keep it rolling. Should be should be good. I'm just having some uh should be live right now. Come on. Come on, YouTube. <clears throat> so interesting subject today. Hopefully I can pull it off. I'm trying to get the chat up here, guys, and, and my menu here. Uh YouTube's being a little slow. It gave me a playback error, so I couldn't really see myself live or what was going on. So I'm trying to um, trying to fix that at the moment. So hopefully you guys can see me. Ah, this is frustrating. Come on. Anyway, I'll start trying to block this in in case you guys can see me. Yeah, it says I'm live, so I think I'm good. No worries, Tomcat. No worries at all. Okay, yeah, everybody says I'm live, so cool. All right. Sorry about that, folks. You know, sometimes it's always... I got some... It's a rocky start sometimes. I still can't see myself, but at least it's loaded. So how's everybody doing? We got Jose, Amanda... Bang Chan, Tomcat, Leon, WH Drawing, Furbate, Angie. What's happening, everybody? Thanks for tuning in on this Friday evening or Saturday morning, depending on where you are in the world. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get started here. So... Gonna start off with the overall, try to get the overall proportions. I don't wanna draw this thing too big. I know it's gonna it's gonna be easy to get to get out of hand here, so I gotta make sure that I don't go too large with this thing, otherwise all those dots are gonna take me like three hours, and I don't really want that. <clears throat> well, hello Veronica, thanks for tuning in. Zombie, what's happening? Thanks, Tomcat. No worries. Uh, no worries, Amanda. Sounds good. Go live your life. Have some fun. That's what I'm doing. Just overall block this thing in. Um, Like I said, try to get a nice size, you know, pretty centered on the page and stuff. <clears throat> Start out pretty loose here. Make sure I got... Make sure I got this lining up a bit. going on thanks for tuning in be sure to uh be sure if you if you made it be sure to gently press the like button for me greatly appreciate it don't smash it just gently press it you know what i'm saying so helps me out helps the youtube algorithm for me get some more viewers get some more folks in here and uh you know, keep me drawing stuff every day for you guys. Get some practice in here, some inspiration, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> really appreciate it.
So you can see I'm starting off pretty sketchy. Sketchy start here. Just trying to get my bearings here a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Wazam, Wazam. I'm willing to physically decimate my mouse smashing the like button for you, sir. Well, greatly appreciate it, but we got to be kind to the like button. It's served me well all these years, so I want to show some respect back to it and just gently press it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I appreciate the sentiment. Okay, boom, this looks equal. So the top of the, boom, right there, equal. I think this needs to be a bit skinnier, probably. They always seem like weirdly skinny, I guess because they can run so fast. They need to run fast, so they're very skinny, very slim. Let's see, we got the ears here. Start getting a little more, a little more cautious here with our drawing. Less sketchy. We'll start slowing down here soon. Make sure I get. I think I got the proportions pretty well, at least from, you know, seven minutes into this thing. So. What's going on, Yami? Thanks for tuning in. How you doing? Glad to see you here. Just drawing a cheetah or attempting. <laughs> I always have trouble with cats, so. Just attempting cheetah. <clears throat> but I think it's looking good. I think it's looking good so far. Pretty, pretty strong, pretty solid. It's just cleaning up some of these lines and stuff as it progresses, but you guys know I'm going to put the ink down on this thing and it's going to transform it a bit. <clears throat> Jeremy, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in. I still, I mean, I forgot to, I forgot to send you the, the shipping info. I got to do that. I got to remember that. Slacking. Trying to block in the facial features pretty loosely first. Just make some marks. Try to figure out where things might end up. It's going to look a little funny at first because I don't have the eyes fully blocked in. And the eyes are like way off. Let's try to go with these lines too. These little contour lines from the eyes might help. form and create, you know, help me figure out where the eyes actually placed on there. <clears throat> I think the nose needed to be a bit smaller because it ended up looking like a tiger or something. It seems cheetahs are a bit smaller compared to like lions, tigers, all the bigger cats. I mean, these are still like a big cat, but it seems they're, you know, they're very streamlined from what I'm, from what I've noticed. There we go. Looks a little more cheetah-like. Um, I just got to figure out the eyes.
Yeah, 140. That's when the next uh, critique will be. It should have been 130, but I didn't stream for so long. And like the next stream was like 129 and then 130. I didn't really prepare or plan it. So I didn't want to, didn't feel like doing one. So we'll do one at 140. Which will be pretty soon. I mean, probably next week if I keep doing these live streams on the daily. All right, so I think I got, this feels good, I think. Right, we'll try to block in the rest a bit more, a bit more uh, solidity now, I guess. Try to see where I'm at with this thing. It's kind of hard. This one's kind of weird because its head is like turned towards us, you know, different way than the body is facing. So it's very uh, interesting, I guess. Interesting pose to kind of try to capture here. And actually in the photo, it's actually turned a bit even further than I have it. Maybe that's my problem. Got a little dark there. I'll show you guys the reference photo a little close up. You guys haven't seen it. So there you go. That's the reference photo. What's going on, Lamp? Thanks for tuning in. Misty, how's it going? How long have I been professionally drawing? Well, I don't know if I would consider myself professional, but I mean, if you consider me professional, I've just been drawing most of my life. Um, I don't know when you would consider like professional, what that means. Um, I don't know if there's like one day I wake up and all of a sudden I'm professional at it. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what your standards are professional. Some people say like professional is only when you're making a living from it. And I just have yet to achieve that. So maybe I'm not professional yet by most folks standards. but I'm trying. All right, let's just keep going. I think uh, it's gonna look a little funny until we get like the spots and everything on there and, and block this in a bit better. But I mean, I started becoming more serious about it probably like eight years ago, seven years ago, something like that. <clears throat> are there any techniques anyone can share for drawing animals i'm not really good at drawing animals but i'm trying to do some drawings with animals <clears throat> the other tutorials i've watched are confusing well salty cracker um i like to approach drawing where you're not really drawing that thing right like for example you're trying to draw animals. There's not a specific way to draw animals. You can sit there and learn anatomy and that's going to help you. You know, if you really want to learn certain kind of anatomy for animals, that's going to be a big help, but that's, that's a lot of study. That's a long, that's something that's a long ways away. That, um, it's very difficult. You know, it's something that takes a lot of time, a lot of study. So what I do is I try to look at things as for what they are. They're just big shapes. So if you just look at things as shapes, and one way to do it this is turn your reference photo upside down and just see it as a shape. Don't see it as an animal, a thing, a portrait, a face. Like, don't see it as these things. It's really just curves and shapes and lines. Then you don't have to worry about drawing animals. You just draw the shape of the animal. Hope that makes sense.
So it's just a change in mindset. That's all it is, right? Because you're not changing what you draw or how you draw it. Maybe how you draw it a little bit, but it's just a mindset change. You're drawing shapes. So break it down simply and uh, draw everything the same way. You know, like just approach everything the same way. There's no difference between drawing an animal, drawing a baby, drawing a car, drawing anything, a hand. Like, don't think of it as an animal. Okay, this is wrong. Supposed to be right here, kind of. Anyway, hope that helped a bit. No worries. Thanks for tuning in. How's everybody doing tonight? Friday night. Cool. Okay, I think this curves in more too. See, so like, I'm not like trying to like draw a shoulder of a cheetah or the arm of a cheetah. Just looking at the shape of it. Okay, it just curves in a little bit more like that, probably, and goes down. You know, I don't know. I don't know if it's right, but I'm gonna try. This is all a bit dark. I'm gonna just gonna roll this out a bit, lighten it up. Does it look like a cheetah? I feel like I feel like his face isn't low enough, but maybe it is. Let's see, where does this line up? Thanks, Anthony. Appreciate it. I'm trying. I always struggle with this. This is kind of a tough one, you know, profile view like this. I feel like it probably needs to be longer, but I really don't feel like fixing that now. Maybe I should. Because this looks a little skinny compared to everything else. You know, this probably looks correct. I feel like Oh boy. I'm going to look at it in another view real quick because I want to compare it. Yeah, I think it needs to be a bit longer. Looking at it now. Got the proportions off a bit. I hate to do it, but just have to. You know, if it feels off to me, something that feels wrong. And I want to change it before I put the ink down. Before I get too far into this thing. But, you know, I'd, also I'd, I don't want to spend like 30 minutes on just the sketching part. Because i got to ink this whole thing too. So i got to be, you know, i, I got to make a compromise here. You know, if I was sketching this on my own time and not making a live stream, then I could just sketch this thing for a whole day if I wanted to, you know. Work on it tomorrow. Figure it out. But... Since uh, since we're here now and we're live, we just gotta roll with the punches, so to speak, and just figure out how to do this best way, be most efficient. But these proportions, especially of cats and stuff, I always struggle with. Of course. Cats are just like anything else, just shapes of stuff, but it is challenging for some reason. There's something about them that is challenging. I think the neck needs to join a bit higher to the head. This part or this part? Yeah, you're probably right over here. 
I did want to extend that out. There we go. Did that a few minutes ago. Just didn't finish it. This. Definitely. Yeah, you're right. This needs to come. Yeah, now that I moved this up, I actually moved this up. So this needs to go up with it because it's actually pretty much at the same height. So thank you for pointing that out. Definitely right. Let's see where the back. So this point is like literally right there. So it needs to be up a little bit more like this. That makes more sense actually. And boom, this half kind of stops there. And then I think that's it. I think that's a bit better. <clears throat> it does look weird for some reason. I think it's the face. I'm gonna have to redo this. Let's redo it because it's it's not it's a little off. I mean it doesn't really matter, but it kind of matters to me. <laughs> don't want this to be a crappy drawing so try to make this thing as best I can <laughs> what's going on Ava Eva Ava thanks for tuning in <laughs> The eraser artist, that's funny. I feel the same way. Yeah, the, the face needs to be turned pa looking past us, kind of like instead of looking straight at us, it needs to be looking a little past us. Does that make sense? Just a little change in perspective. It's kind of difficult. I'm gonna do the big shapes first. So I'm gonna do like the shadow or this line that I see. Aligns for the eyes. Let those guide me a bit here. <clears throat> okay. Oh boy, definitely want to get into the ink here soon. Don't want to take forever on this thing. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Gently press the like button if you're just now tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Got something new I want to try, actually. We'll try it right now. You guys ready? Here we go. Let's see if this works. It's very slow on my end. <laughs> Hopefully that worked. I look like it lagged a lot, but I don't know, maybe it'll look cool in the video actually. No, it looks like it's lagging too, but I tried, I tried. What's going on, Matthias? Thanks for tuning in. Okay. Let's focus on the face here. We got to get this done. We got to finish this. Uh, I don't know why it lags so much. That's weird. I guess because it's, st it's stream. My computer sucks. That's why. <laughs> For streaming, my computer's like six years old. Definitely need something new soon. If I want to keep going with this streaming and do something better. I see so many other people stream on YouTube and their streams are like so like just good. It's like, what are they using? Kind of soft, hardware, software. 
Um, do you get your reference images off of Google? No, I don't. I get them from mostly uh, un, unsplash.com. The reason I do that is so that I can use them uh, commercially without having... Uh, yeah, Unsplash, Pixabay, Morg file, stuff like that. Um, that's where you can find images so you can use them commercial, commercially free, which means you don't have to like show any attribution to the photographer or anything. And you can sell them, sell like your art from the images and stuff with no, no legal issues or anything, you know, no copyrights. There's nothing involved. Good point, Ava. Really good point. I don't want perfection here. I just want I just want the face to look like the cheetah's face, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to look cheetah like. I think before it just looked a little off. There was something off about it. So I'm trying to fix it. I mean, I'm, I may screw this up when I do the ink over top of this. So, you know, we never know. Even if I just put it down and it looks good now, doesn't mean it's going to look good in 20 minutes. Okay, there's a line of the head here. It almost looks like a baby polar bear or something. Just the way that the uh, face shape is and stuff. <clears throat> still looks wrong. It still looks wrong. I don't know what it is, but something just looks stupid about it. Maybe it's just the lack of spots and stuff. You know, I didn't put all the... And I'm going to go nuts with these. I'm going to go nuts, like, trying to put in all these dots and stuff when I do the ink. Should I erase the messy sketch when I like darken the lines? Yeah, you, you can, you want, you can clean up the lines a little bit. Um, you're the artist, man. It's up to you if you want to, if you want to keep all the messy look of it, you can do that. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, Everything, any decision you make about your art is it's your own decision. That's the fun part about it. Oh yeah, great, Yami. I should do the whole drawing stippled. I don't think so. I can't even get through the the drawing as it is right now. Struggling with this one. It's great to struggle on a Friday night. It's very annoying. Could work on the big shadow shape on the left of the neck and the face will disappear with the face will appear with time. Yeah, probably. 
Like this big shape, you mean this shadow shape? That's what I was trying to do. I think part of it is like it doesn't have form yet. It's still very like flat. So maybe this doing something like this will like help it. Yeah, you know? I don't know. I think it just it just looks very flat right now because I'm just doing line work. So maybe that's part of it. I don't know. I hope so. But I think I'm gonna just kind of get into the ink and and we'll just. If the proportions suck, then the proportions will just suck, you know, then I, I really, you know, I know these big cats are something I want to, I want to do like a little challenge in a few months, a few weeks and do draw big cats every day for 30 days, make like a whole video series about it, document my journey of it possibly. All right. Let's do it. We just make it work. What else am I going to do? At this point, I'm already 32 minutes in, so I just got to get to the inking process. At this point, unfortunately, folks, not every drawing is going to be good or perfect. So that's how we that's how we do it here. We just roll with the roll with what we got. Sometimes it works out really well, sometimes it really sucks, and sometimes just in between. Parts of it are good, parts of it are not. Well, Ava, every drawing I do on these live streams is my first draft. I don't, I don't like make a bunch of different drafts. I just, I sketch and just go with it. You know, these are just little sketches, you know, they're not meant to be like any kind of crazy drawing or anything, just little sketches. <clears throat> okay. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, 
You guys see I'm avoiding the face now. I'm like, oh no, I don't want to ink that in yet. It still looks like it's directly facing me, and I, I, it bothers me. I don't know what the deal is here. I even... Yeah, so stupid. I think it's the nose. I'll just try to fix it in ink, I guess. <clears throat> Welcome from Brazil. Thanks for tuning in. Glad to see you here. Seems like we're missing a few folks that normally tune in. I guess Friday night. Everybody goes out and does their own thing, which it's all good. All right, we're just going in with it. No time to waste. Just trying to make this work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm modifying the nose. So the nose, edge of the nose should be, line up with this eye almost. And this edge doesn't line up with the other eye. So that should give it the illusion that it's pointing past us a bit, hopefully. my thoughts on it anyway. This is all like intuitive perspective stuff. It's just very, very slight. It's something that's very challenging, especially when it's this subtle. <clears throat> What's going on, Lane? Thanks for tuning in. Glad to see you here. Yeah, grinding this week. Definitely grinding this week. make a good copy of what to make a good copy what technique should we have a good copy of what painting drawing what are you trying to copy Trying to copy a master painting, a master drawing, and copying a photograph. <clears throat> going on designed by cads pro cat designs by cad pro what's happening yeah trying to do a cheetah today it's, kind of, it's a little rough we're come we're we're struggling a bit here but um just doing our doing my best what drawing kit do you recommend or use um you know just any i don't really have a recommendation prismacolor has a good little drawing set Little a tin case, little case of pencils. They're pretty good, um, like turquoise Prismacolor pencils. But in any kind of pencil, I mean, the eraser I use is this kneaded eraser that you can. Um,
Yeah, no worry. No worries. I understand. I understand how that is. So I'm not going to make these lines solid yet. Just Really look more like a bear's face instead of a cheetah. Maybe its forehead was too tall or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out later once I look at this. So, looks like um, looks like I'm annoyed with this one already. <laughs> I haven't even really started. Okay, that's what it looks like to me. I'm going to lightly pin sketch in, sketch this in, shape of the shadow, just kind of loosely, because I want to fill in the big shadow shapes before I get into all these stupid dots that I have to do. Why did I pick this? I could have picked anything in the world I picked a cheetah today. Stupid. Like, oh yeah, this will be cool to do. And I even thought that I wouldn't have these thoughts today. <laughs> I even thought like, oh yeah, I'm not going to think this is stupid or anything. Uh, here I am. Thinking, why did I do this? Okay, so now we kind of got light from shadow separated. Now I just need to actually do it. Basically shade in all the big areas. Yeah, I picked this because I'm a moron. That's why I picked this. <laughs> That's why I picked this one. I don't know. I thought it'd be cool. AKA, yeah, I'm a moron. I don't know why I thought this would be cool. This is stupid. This is the dumbest thing I've ever picked to draw. Because nobody would pick this. There's nobody else that would pick this. It doesn't even look like a cheetah. It looks like a polar bear. All right. Let's be positive. Let's stay positive here. Let's become positive, I guess. I can't stay positive if I'm not positive. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to flatly shade in shadow shapes. I almost picked a landscape to draw. That's what I should have done, but I don't know. Maybe this will come together once I get the values and, and spots in there. Maybe, maybe it's all in the spots. You know what I mean? Maybe the mat it's the magic is in the spots, I guess. I mean, the face looks like a polar bear. If you were like, just isolate the face by itself. It's like, is that a cheetah or is that a polar bear? And it's almost looks like a polar bear. <clears throat> Would you consider doing art inspired by the Mars landing? Random earth animal on red terrain background. That'd be cool. That's interesting. Like merging like 
a Mars landscape with like a cheetah or something, like a cheetah in the Mars landscape. That would be pretty cool as a watercolor. Hmm. Could be really cool. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm glad it looks like a cheetah to you guys. I must be just staring at this thing too much or something. I don't know. And I don't want to stare at it. I'm annoyed with it already. Okay, yeah, all this is shadow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Getting somewhere, making progress. I haven't even started the dots yet. Maybe I'll make a cheetah, maybe I'll draw a cheetah without dots, without spots. It was like a new animal. It was like a, a cheetah mixed with a polar bear mixed with a lion. You know, just have like no spots. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm just trying to get out of having to draw these spots, but I think it will look good. Hopefully once I put the spots on, I'm just, I want to get light versus shadow in here a bit and then All right, looking good, looking good. There is some shadowing on the back side of the tail, looks like. Probably needs to be all a bit darker, huh? <clears throat> Yeah, I think the head is wider too. I, I, I've that was one of my thoughts actually when I was doing the. Uh, I think that's why it looks like a polar bear. Yeah, exactly, Jeremy. I thought about that earlier when I was drawing the uh, lines on the the eyes. The spacing is a lot more, so I think that's the problem. Too bad this isn't digital. I could just like squish it in like one second, and it would just be perfect. All those digital artists, they don't know the struggle. They don't know the real struggle. Oh, I'll just liquefy it and move it over. Like, yeah, okay. What a joke. Call that art. <laughs> and a gardener could do that. Baby could do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, proportions. Proportions, that's what's throwing me off. Yeah, this is a shoulder bear. I do gotta start a fight. I'm in a, I'm in a crazy mood. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, luckily, many not many digital artists watch my channel, so I'm not too worried. No one's gonna fight me. <laughs> Okay, what I want to do is I want to draw the grass because I'm tired of this stupid cheetah and I want to just draw grass. 
that is what I'm going to do. I have no idea, Yami. I have no idea. Um, I mean, I, I have an iPad because that's what my work got me. I mean, the iPad's pretty cool. But... You're not really going to use anything else on the iPad. It's probably not worth to get it. Oh, Lane, I'm glad you said that. A Sharpie makes perfect dots, just a thought. You know what I might use? I might use a brush pen, because that'll be so easy to just like dot, 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 dot. That might be the way to go. I think the brush pen. Man, I'm so glad you said that. That would actually speed this thing up. So I can just get through this torturous drawing that I inflicted upon myself for some reason. <laughs> uh, it's not too bad. It's just, you know, kind of fun. The, f the, pro the problem was this face and I struggled with it. And Jeremy pointed out exactly what was wrong. It's the, the width of it. It's the width. Absolutely. Okay, come on. I'm using a jelly roll for this, so I didn't want it to be like super bright, at least not yet. So I'm just using the regular old white pin here that's not too crazy. I'll probably put some finishing touches with the white pin again. Once I put all the black spots, we'll put some grass over top, some bigger grass strokes. But for now, we'll just... Kind of draw some in right now. And this just gives it a third value overall. So we have white, we have the light, light. Midtones like the light on the cheetah and the shadow, and then we're gonna have the really dark darks. So we'll end up having like four main values. It's kind of what I'm going for. Two in the light, two in the dark, stuff like that. What's going on, Kermit? Thanks for tuning in. Are you planning to do any sketchbook tours in the future? Well, this one has about two pages left. So, I mean, there's not much to show. It's just like the same drawings you've seen on the uh, all the live streams. But I could, yeah, I could do it for sure. Could do some sketchbook tours. Okay. We'll put some dark grass in here too, of course. Gotta have a mixture of both. Otherwise it looks stupid.
to make it a bit darker under the cheetah, like give it like a shadow area almost. Slightly. All right, should I go in with the brush brush pen? I'm gonna go with the brush pen. I haven't used this thing in a while, so let's just do it. I think uh, that'll make some quick dots. There we go. Is this a new one? Looks pretty new. Looks good. Let's get these stupid dots in. There's only about 17,000 on this cheetah to put in, so. Is there anything you draw lots of? I draw lots of horses and now I'm getting into portraits. Surprisingly, I never went through the human eye phase. I love drawing horse eyes. Uh, something I draw lots of. Not really. Uh, over the years, I mean, I drew, I painted a lot of like trees and forest scenes and redwood trees, giant redwoods, stuff like that. But Yeah, I am afraid this will be too dark and bold, but uh, at this point, I don't care. Mm. You know, I don't have to fill it in all the way. Let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. Is that too dark and bold? Let's see. I think, it'll be, I think it's going to look good. I can kind of dry brush some of these on. What do you guys think? Just gotta be light with my touch. Just be real careful. What do you guys think that works? So yeah, normally I just paint a lot of the same things, but it's been a while since I've really like focused on one kind of thing like that. I just kind of go with the flow, whatever feels right, you know, just intuitive. Well, even if it doesn't work, we'll just continue anyway. This is way quicker than anything else I was going to do, so. My stupid wide-faced cheetah. <laughs> Got a fat head. Mm. <laughs> yeah, thank you, SC. Really appreciate that. Oh, mm. <laughs> hmm. See. You could have tried to use the dots as shading instead of lines you normally do on the next one. No, 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 no. That's never going to happen. I'm never going to do stippling as shading. You know, I did see a video on somebody. Uh, I think it was like Peter Draws or something, another guy. There's a stippling pin out there. You like turn it on and it goes up and down really fast. 
and you just go like do 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 and make like stippling dots like if i ever could do stippling a shading that's what i'm going to use no doubt Okay, let's get on with, let's go to the body. Let's... Try to figure this thing out. I feel like the face is still facing towards the camera. Yeah, I do too. I think, I think part of it is the, it, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm stumped. I'm stumped. Yeah, I saw NF's new song and video. It's pretty cool. His new mixtape coming out. <clears throat> oh, this is going to take forever. We're an hour in. Okay, it's gonna take about three hours to finish these stupid dots. I gotta stop doing like dot for dot. I just gotta like make it look cheetah-like. So I need to figure out the pattern that it kind of goes in and then just start making it up. And make it look cheetah-like, you know what I'm saying? Problem is, it's like follows the form, and there's like perspective on some of these dots. I got to do it a certain way. Okay, Jenny, that's great for your nephew that's five. I'm going to drag you out this live stream. Talking like that, son. You want to arm wrestle? Talking fighting words. <clears throat> All right, there's just like a billion dots. I'm gonna have to just go in. I'm just gonna have to like just go in. Like quadrillion dots. what do you mean i drag this out too much what, what do you want me to do sit here and like just make it look stupid i mean it already looks stupid but Yeah, let's see. Try some different shapes for these, see if I can.
We got square dots here, folks. We got square dots. <clears throat> Trying to make these more circular. An oval. Well, thanks, Essie. She says, I don't mind an hour sketch. I really enjoy watching this. There we go. We got a few people that enjoy watching this. This looks like watching paint dry to me. It's what it feels like creating this. Let's see. As soon as I, as soon as I get confident with like what I want these dots to look like, I can really speed up. I'm just trying to make sure I get good looking patterns and dots. You know what I'm saying? Can't like rush the process here. You know what they say? Never rush a good thing. Somebody says that. It sounds kind of profound to me. Yeah, that's a good point, uh, Kermit Bean. That's a good point, like more perspective on it. Yeah, it's I can't really change it now because it's in it's inked in, you know. I can't really modify it, but I know exactly what you're saying. I I agree. But I'm just we'll just roll with what we have right now and There we go. Never rush for good things. Exactly. Patience is key. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, folks. I know today's video is a bit slower. You know, we just have these dots to do. But, uh, you know, we're trying to... Trying to get through it here. Trying to get through it here in a good way. A, you know, way that keeps us looking good. So it's interesting, some of the dots are like in a diagonal line. It's weird how some of these patterns of these dots are. It's very interesting. Oh, here we go. Get into a little rhythm here. So the ones on the top, I got to make them a little more flat. It's like the top of the body. It's like rotating. And the form is turning. Hmm. 
Yeah, the dots follow the curvature of the animal. That's the that's the tough part. That's what I'm like trying to struggle with because that's so why I'm like I'm constantly looking at the photo because they're there's just like there's very interesting. Uh, sometimes they do, and then sometimes they don't. Sometimes they follow the form, and then sometimes they don't. But definitely right here on the leg, they all stretch like more oblong. Like um, I'll show you guys. So they start off here, and then it goes. They start getting more like this, almost like lines, and they kind of start flattening out. And as they go over, they just flatten out, flatten out. So it's, it's, yeah, this is more challenging than it looks, actually. You can't just put, like, dots everywhere randomly. It's, you gotta have, you gotta follow the form and curve of the animal so that they you know it's like this I'll show you guys real quick with a pencil you know if you have a circle like this but when it's when the circle starts like t if it's a flat circle and it starts turning away from you it starts getting more and more squished like that so that's what we have here. It's like, yeah, we're getting these like interesting, or they start turning this way. So I hope that makes sense. We're just getting like form changes and stuff. I think you guys understand. Most of you guys understand. I don't know about Jenny. You know, it's hard for little kids to understand this kind of stuff, but no worries. Maybe she'll learn one day. We all learn. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. I mean, yeah, it's like a coin. It's like if you have a penny and then you rotate it. It just it changes from a circle to a line, basically. Absolutely. That's kind of what I'm. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go over the shadows again, which is okay. I knew I might have to do that because it looked very light at the beginning, but I'm not too worried. We still have time. We're only an hour and 15 minutes in, so this is pretty, making pretty good time, actually. Do you have any advice for someone starting a channel? Yeah, I would, um, it depends on what your goals are with your channel, you know? 
be consistent. All the stuff I'm about to start implementing. Be consistent with your content. So upload regularly and post things that You know, it's best to like be in a certain niche or a certain topic and only post on that. You know, my problem is over the years, I've posted on like oil painting and acrylic painting and now drawing. And like, so I got like all these people to follow me and I still have people to this day asking me, are you going to do acrylic videos? Are you going to do acrylic videos? I haven't painted with acrylic since 2015. So that's the problem. And I still have a lot of acrylic videos on my channel because a lot of them are very popular and they're a source of income for me. So I don't want to get rid of like all those videos and plus they help people, you know, so I like having those up, but if I could, I would like to get rid of those videos and hide them, like make them private and only focus on drawing on this channel. That's what I, my main focus of this channel I want to be from now on is drawing. The only painting I'm ever going to talk about or do is on the live streams, uh, the watercolor painting. But other than that, any video I upload from now on this year and moving forward is going to be about drawing. And that's my main focus. That's why everyone finds my channel. It's just, it makes sense to me. It's what I should have been doing all along for many years. And uh, I just didn't really know what I was doing. But now when I see other people's channels and I just see, I just understand a lot more now about how to approach this kind of a thing. So consistent content, consistent schedule. And yeah, just make sure it's you do what you love to do and want to do. Because if you do a bunch of videos, you don't want to, you don't really, you're not interested in that thing. And then if those videos go viral and you get big, well, now you're stuck with a channel that you're popular with stuff you don't want to do. And I think a lot of people don't realize that can happen. So, do you have any advice for someone just starting out drawing? I just watched your Learn to Draw series. Um, someone just starting out drawing is uh, so just draw more, you know, just basically what I'm doing here, like keep drawing and try to improve and try to figure out. You know, always look at your mistakes, try to figure out what's wrong, how you can improve your art. Try to get critiques from other artists, you know, or just other people and say like, oh, you know, is there anything you see off on my drawing or how I could improve? Stuff like that. Look at this, folks. We're almost done with these uh, stupid spots. I don't know if I did a real good job, but, you know, I did a job, and it's almost done. I feel like I'm starting to get good at them at the end. That's the problem. See the ones at the beginning? They're all kind of like square and stuff. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. But I feel like I'm getting better at the end. That's kind of what happens, you know, you get used to, you get more used to materials the more you use your materials. That's why I say to draw a lot because you'll get used to like value, you get used to like hand-eye coordination, you start getting used to all these subtleties and how to use your materials. And uh, you're gonna improve, most likely, if you stick with that thing, keep up with it. And that's, I mean, it's, I'm demonstrating it right now. You know, I feel like a lot of these dots at the end of this cheetah, literally at the end of the cheetah, and the end of, the, you know, making these spots, I'm actually getting better at doing it. And now it's like I want to draw another cheetah because I want to make it better. Uh, I don't want to draw another one right now, but maybe in the future when I'm in a better mood <laughs> next time. I don't have trolls on here trolling me. 
but it's all good. I'm just a little hangry, folks, that's all. Just a little hangry. My stomach's been growling for a little while. I have a cheetah inside my stomach. Yeah, there we go. I think it looks good. Blah, blah, blah. And... Yeah, I probably did save it for the lions. I mean, I drew a few lions already. I almost drew a lion today. I almost picked to draw a lion. Maybe I will next week. But uh, I almost picked a lion to draw today. Almost. Here, let's try to like, let's, we could try to fix some of these at the beginning. Possibly. So there we go. See, we lost the form of it because we don't really have the shadows in there as dark as it could be. So I think I'm gonna go back over them again and it should bring more form hopefully to this whole thing. That's my hope anyway. I think maybe, let's try to use, I'm gonna use an 08. Let's experiment. So what I mean by that is I had this 05 earlier that's what I normally use. It means it's like five millimeters. It's the size of the actual nib or whatever. So I'll show you guys. So this is the 05 right here. This is the 08. So it's a little bit bigger. I'm going to use this one, I think. I'm going to try to use the big one. So I don't normally use it, but I think for this one, we need like, let's experiment with some bolder line work. What do you guys think? I did have a little snack before I started streaming. That's the problem. I've been streaming so long. It doesn't last. Are you going to add some white to the face and back legs? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. I might add a little tiny bit. Uh, yeah, possibly. Is there something that I should be focusing on as a beginner? Um, form, perspective, proportions, you know, all kind of the big, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if you mean what you mean by focusing on, but just start drawing what you like, you know, just start drawing, um, just start drawing what you like, you know, that's really the main thing. Yeah, let's see if we can make these the shadow a bit darker. Is it gonna work? Looks like it's gonna work. Looks like this is gonna work. Just going over some of these shadow areas a bit more. Is that darkening it? I think it is. It's hard to it's really hard to tell. These spots are like driving me nuts. but I think it's working. I can even blend this out a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, focusing on as a beginner. Hmm. What to focus on as a beginner? I mean, there's there's so many things, you know. Just start drawing what you like and 
and uh you know if you want to you just try to figure out like how to check your proportions how to measure correctly um you know how to fix those kinds of issues that you might run into when it comes to proportions and things um yeah, and just understanding like th how to create things three dimensionally, how to create form on a flat surface like this, you know, what does it take and how to do it. Gosh, I really hope this is working and not ruining it because I'm really like tunnel vision right now. I'm kind of just trying to finish this thing. But it's such a mess that I can't really tell if it's working or... What's happening? Uh, and this pin just kind of feels weird. I don't really know if I'm making marks. Or... Uh. Kind of working, I guess. Did I just extend the rib cage? No, this is like the arm on the other side. It's it's kind of there in the photo. Uh, it's just hard to see it, but I'll do like grass over it. Do more grass and stuff. It's the other side, other arm of the cheetah there. Other leg, I guess. Good, I guess. Good enough. Yeah, the face we 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 determined the face is a little too wide. I created a little too wide, um, possibly. So, <laughs> thanks, Jeremy. He said definitely doesn't look like a polar bear. Yeah, not anymore. Be sure to gently press the like button if you're tuning in now. Greatly appreciate it if you haven't done so. Just gently give it. Tap on the like button there. Greatly appreciate it. Let's go on with this very like, should we do this very white pin? See how much light, yeah, let's do it. Let's be bold. See, so now we can like put some grass.
have it sit more in its environment, you know? Well, the people that dislike this kind of stuff are little kids, you know, they're like 12, 13 or something. And they're just, they're like, oh, he didn't draw this, you know, so they dislike it. Who cares? I don't care. Do I like digital drawing? Yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, it's it's, it's fun. Sometimes it's interesting. Um, let's do a little white on the cheetah, I guess. I was gonna, I was trying to see if I could avoid it, but I think like it it needs it, I guess. Like. See if this will make it look a bit, give it a little more depth, I guess. There's just a few areas of like white on this cheetah. And I think it's gonna help, it's gonna help it. Help it, not hurt it. And I, I was waiting specifically to the very end to put this on the cheetah because I didn't want to get too ahead of myself and make a mistake because I was trying to see if I didn't have to do it. I'm being honest. Thanks, MTB. Appreciate it. I know there's good young people out there for sure. I'm just saying the ones that dislike are probably not, you know. I mean, it could be an adult. You never know. Who knows? Some negative person disliking stuff. Who wastes, who wastes energy on that? I don't have time for that. But appreciate all the good young people out there. Appreciate all the good people out there no matter what. I meant to tell everybody, tonight is the last day to register for my drawing course, by the way. Uh, it closes at midnight tonight. I'll show you guys real quick. So if you go to my website, shaferfineart.com, click the drawing course button. That'll take you to the intuitive drawing course. It closes in about a few hours from now, five, or five hours or something. So definitely check that out on my website, shaferfineart.com. Greatly appreciate it. I'm going to try this thing one more time. We'll see if it lags. So definitely be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Definitely a little laggy, but uh, hey, kind of cool. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in and, and sticking with me here through this uh painful drawing experience that I put myself through.
Hopefully I'll never do it again. Uh, I probably will do it again. Definitely will do it again. No doubt. Um, I don't want to get overboard here, but I just see like a tiny bit of white there. This cheetah. Just trying to help with the form. Anywhere I can, it's going to help a little bit. All right. It's probably good. It's probably good, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a laggy, like, ding sound, I guess, for that thing, huh? I'm going to have to watch the replay. It was probably, like, very laggy. Sorry about that, guys. I was trying a new thing, but uh might have to take the sound off that thing. Save it for my regular videos, I guess. I thought it would work on the live stream, but guess not. Not. <laughs> Good to know. What are the objectives of the course? I mean, go check it out. I mean, it's it's just uh, it takes us from the very beginning. It basically, I I act like. You've never even heard of drawing before, like you don't, you've never picked up a pencil and I just show you from the very, very beginning basics how to draw and it's an eight week course uh, that takes you through at the very last week. I'm gonna do full demonstrations of drawings similar to the ones I'm doing like this, different, different uh, subjects and stuff. And uh, all the course in between that is a build up to those final demonstrations, so. Anyway, just uh, yeah, go check it out. All right, well, turned out better than I thought it would, would actually. It looks okay, I guess. <laughs> it's not like awful. It's not the best ever, but it's not awful, I guess. Yeah, my course, I mean, the course starts out very slow, kind of slow, because I start out, like, super, super, super basic. Because, like, you know, if people are learning to draw from the very beginning, how can I assume, like, you already know a few things, you know? So, I start out very, very basic, and uh, it's probably too basic for many people, but, you know, I think it's important to just break everything down as simple as possible and just go back to very ba beginner basics and build upon that. So that's kind of what I tried to do. Let's just put a few like dark lines in front of some of the white ones and this will just help bring it all together. Maybe some more. Let's see if we can try to do like shadow here. If possible. It look like shadow. Kind of does. I don't want to do too much because then it gives the appearance like there's not a lot of grass there. Even though there is. That made him look really short. The shadow should have been like a lot lower. Yeah. But it's supposed to be like tall grass, so I'll try to go over some of that. That was a mistake. Well, that's how you learn, though. Just got to try things out. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to give up on this one, but, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, you know, let's
anyway. Um, yeah, looks like, uh, Uh, thanks for whoever said that. I can't pronounce your name, but they said 527,000 subscribers and only 69 people watching this. They said, such a shame. You deserve way more. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, I don't, I don't know what the problem is, to be honest. Um, I kind of know what the problem is, but I don't know what to do about it. You know what I mean? All I can do is just keep going. And, you know, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to start streaming on Twitch as well. Try to build an audience over there. Because it's obvious my YouTube audience isn't that big. I don't have a big, I have a, I have an inflated fake audience, which I didn't do anything. I didn't buy subscribers or anything. It's just what I built up over the last uh, years and years. Cheetah Don sounds good. Yeah, there we go. Cheetah Don. Everybody named, Kermit named it Don. So, <laughs> all right then. But yeah. I call it, you guys call it Don, I call it Dunn. Cheetah Dunn. So, anyway, um, sorry for such a, uh, interesting drawing experience. Wish it could have been better, but, uh, I don't know. I guess I've drawn some worse ones than this, you know? I guess we can take a look, like, and this one's pretty good. Eh, not too bad. You know, eh, I feel like I did worse on this one, maybe. I don't know. Not that great, you know, I guess, eh, not that good. So there's been some bad ones, and there's some really good ones. This is what I was trying, kind of trying to do with the cheetah. I was trying to make the whole thing just tone, but didn't really, doesn't really make sense. But that's one of my favorite ones. But yeah, I guess we did all right today. Um, anyway, folks, I'm going to get off here, get something to eat. And uh, yeah, until next time, I guess. Um, do a video on smudging. What do you want me to, what do you want me to smudge? <clears throat> you should draw a box of cats, maybe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I should not draw cats anymore. <laughs> yep, I see. Do a video on smudging. I, I see it. 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 All right. Well, here's my cat. She just jumped up on me. Say hello to everybody, buddy. Say hello or bye. Huh? You sleepy? We got a sleepy kitty here. Oh, come on. Everybody wants to see you. She's shy today. But uh, anyway, see you guys on the next one. Take care of yourself. Peace.